Alrighty, what's up and welcome back to another episode here in the Monopoly run of FS22. Today we have a lot to do. If you guys look up top there, you'll see it's actually still December in game. You know, for the time being, I actually think I'm going to turn the time scale down to one to one. So every minute in game is a minute IRL. Um, normally I keep it 2x, but for now, 1x is going to have to do because I have to fertilize that lot. I have to plow and seed this lot. I've got to take care of all of my production that I still didn't do from the last episode because we were really crunching trying to get everything into that episode. Woo, there's a lot to do and things are looking up. So first of all, let me look in here. Okay, it's the same stuff that it always is. Right here, we're gonna borrow items. So that tractor right there, go ahead and hit borrow items and then we're gonna accept this contract and accept that contract. If we look up that tractor, large, it was this one right here. Base is 357 horsepower, which means we can go over here to this plow and we can grab our plow, our plow of dreams. Release it for $3,000. And you see that's the plow that they gave us. We don't want that plow. We want our plow. Oh no, I always forget that it needs a trailer. Why do I do that? <laughs> Literally every single time I forget that it needs a trailer. Lease, yep. But on the bright side, uh, you know what? We don't even have to do that. We can just grab the dolly with this tractor. What we're going to do is we're going to knock out three contracts because that's going to give us a nice little chunk of change. But what that's also going to do is give us a tractor that can pull that massive plow so I can plow my my fields because I don't want to do it with one of the tiny little plows. The tiny plows are terrible. They're literally the worst thing in the world. I hate them with every ounce of my being. So we're going to grab the, the rental and we're going to grab the rented plow and now we're going to do four fields, one of mine and three of theirs. Once again, helping out everybody, but at least I get a little something out of it, too. That's a first for me. Cause I don't know what nobody changed me now. Cause I like, cause I like to be myself. If you're not agree, you can walk away, you can walk away, you can walk away. Something, something in my mind, leaves me within the, leaves me within the, ain't nobody perfect. Something, something in my mind, leaves me within the, leaves me within the, ain't nobody perfect. So go ahead and interrupt that time lapse there just to bring you back here. We finished the contracts, but I'm going to keep that tractor just for a little while longer. I will go ahead and accept that one and that one. 
This is the one that I rented it. So there's our tractor still there. And now we're going to go ahead and hire a worker to plant this field. Did I get that all the way to the side? Uh, looks like it. Let's see here. Should be... Yeah, got that all the way up to the side. Perfect. All right. So we're here of this guy. We have some we have some chores we need to do. So on top of seeding that field, we need to roll it. And then we need to lime that field and that field. And then we have to fertilize both fields. But I want to do them like in like back to back. I don't want to have to do one and then wait for the other one. So until that field is fully seeded, I am going to run to the store and I'm going to grab a liquid tank. I'll go ahead and grab it right now. And I'm going to make sure that I get the right one so we don't make the same mistake as last time. This one can hold everything. I guess it really doesn't matter. It's only a thousand liters. So I'm literally just doing water. You know what? This one's going to be cheaper. So we'll go ahead and grab that. $400. Rent it. Eventually, I want to buy that the big 30,000, not 30,000 dollar one. No, 30,000 liters. It can hold 30,000 liters of liquid in it. Eventually, I want to grab that one because then really all I have to do is a couple trips and I could just mass produce all of my uh, greenhouses. So we're going to take this. We're going to go grab the liquid tank. And then we need to... Oh, there's still so much to do. And we still have to... What's our um, our stuff at? I have 22 at the grain mill. It's already been so long, I can't even remember what I started out with on the last episode. <laughs> there's so much going on. Um, so I've already got our roller. We'll come back for that later. Grab this. Let's go get some water. Now, I'm not quite sure why, but for some reason... They left a little, little pl plot, patch, splotch. I don't know. They left a little strip there, and they didn't put seeds in it. I'm not sure why. But, no, oh well. So I did the math. It's gonna take six trips to do all these, and then after that, we'll probably grab our honey, because I can only assume that it's going to have multiple pallets stocked up. I wonder. Nothing, yeah, it doesn't show me anything in here, unfortunately. I'll drive by. When I drive by that one over there, we're going to check it and see if it says it has, like, an internal storage that's going up. It's, it's slowly ticking up. Been a couple minutes. Let's see if price, I don't want to hit those hay bales. Let's see if prices have gone up. 523. It's slowly getting better. It's still December in this episode. I will probably round it into January at the end. But before we do, we are going to go sell those. Let's, let's roll up to this uh, beehive real quick here. Let's see. You have an internal storage. Beehive. Range. Get honey. <laughs> okay. Well, there's an internal storage on it. I don't know what it is. There's got to be because as soon as I pull that pallet, it is going to... I should probably leave an auto auto loader over there but as soon as i pull that pallet it's gonna pop another one it'll populate it drive right down into here and skirt Ta -da. five trips to go all right they're almost done with that field which means we can go ahead and let's see return this yes let's go grab our roller that we rented We'll bring that back, we'll roll that field, and then we'll get our fertilizer spreader. I've still got fertilizer over in the corner. And we'll fill it with lime while we're up there. And then we'll lime our field, we'll fertilize our field, and then we'll just wrap up by doing some uh, some collection. We'll, we'll finally collect the greenhouse and the bee productions, and then we'll, we'll take our sorghum that's sitting over in that trailer, and we'll go sell it. I think... I might be able to break 530. It's 521, right? Or 525 right now. If I can break 530, that'll that'll be good. I think 531 is the theoretical cap. Yeah, it says 531 is the max. So we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, we'll go ahead and start rolling this field. We'll go ahead and throw it back into a time lapse. We'll roll, we'll lime, and we'll fertilize and get everything all wrapped up. Within the 
This is an unexpected surprise. I was taking that back from dropping off the sorghum and apparently my AI driver decided to uh, have a little, little heyday. Yeah, this 89 liter, or 99 liters is not going to be enough to lime this entire field. But I'm also not going to go spend the money to buy more lime just for that little strip. It's not that big of a deal. Um, next time I lime the fields, I will do it then. Now let's go ahead and uh, back up over here. We'll grab this fertilizer, though. Yeah, let's see if we can do this correctly. Without hitting that tree. There we go. Oop. Don't hit the, the tool there. Yeah, close enough. Ooh, don't want to hit the honey either. Now the real question is, is there going to be enough fertilizer to fertilize this field? I don't know, to be 100% honest. We are about to find out, and to be honest, I also really do not like this, um... Oh, okay, so the spreader sprays plenty far when it's not lime. That means I should be able to... Wait a second, does it give me the... No, it does not. Let's see if the the lines work out. Those lines that I put in last time. Looks like they won't. Okay, so I'll have to cut it a little short. That's fine. We can go ahead and do this. And then after that, that is... That's everything. I've done all my chores for the day. I've gotten all the fields done. Uh, literally just... Fertilizing these two fields is all I have left to do, which I would say is a pretty good accomplishment. Oh, um, is there any other rental item? No, there is none. Okay, well in that case, let's go ahead and fertilize these two. We can wrap things up for today. So I hope you guys did enjoy these episode, uh, this episode, well, and all of these episodes really. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've done YouTube stuff, so it took me a second to get back into the swing of things. But I'd say we are doing good, especially in the Monopoly run. Everything is working out decently well. The funds are starting to slowly accrue. I've been sitting at around 100000 for the last couple episodes. Uh, I'll get up and down depending on what it is I have to do in that episode. And I would say that's, that's pretty good, which means we should be buying a field here in the near future. Not that one, because that's sugar beets. And sugar beets and potatoes are the spawn of Satan. I... Uh, I'm not looking forward to those. When I have to do those, I am probably just going to make it very small fields. I might even divide a field down the center. Uh, if I could stop driving off the edge there. But yeah, either way, I'm going to finish up this fertilization. And then uh, that's all I got. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you like what you see and you want to see some more and want to help me stay above the wheel in subscribers then make sure to hit that subscribe button help us stay up there uh if you look on the screen right now there is our current subscriber count compared to Dewil. in a couple days he will be back from his paternity leave which means he is going to be live streaming and producing fresh content again so did what i could hopefully we can maintain the lead especially as Farming Simulator 25 comes out. I'm, I'm, I really am looking forward to playing it. It looks like it's going to be a really fun game. I don't care that I missed the spot. It's grass. <laughs> uh, it looks like it's going to be a really fun game. I can't wait to play it. I've, I've played so much FS22, and it's became a game that I always mocked, but I really, really enjoy it. 
Uh, the only game I would say that I do enjoy more would definitely be Ark. And, yeah. I've been playing a lot of that too lately, but I've just been enjoying the game. It's been a while since I've been able to enjoy the game. So, either way, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. Oops, I forgot to return their tractor. Should probably do that. And return my stuff too.